the first video, we learned how to send our camera views to be rendered in a cloud using the A360 button now available within 3ds Max 2016. Once your scene has been uploaded to the cloud and that you have access to the rendered image, it is possible to re-render and enhance the image directly in A360 rendering without having to re-upload the scene. This option is useful for a few different reasons. One, in a case that, as a first step, you have sent a freestandard size image to the cloud as a test, you can choose to re-render the image to a higher resolution and better quality render if you're happy with the results. Two, you want to take advantage of the environment dome available in A360 rendering to enhance the overall look of your render, including the reflection and light quality. Three, you want to adjust the exposure value and levels of your image to give it a specific look. Let's review how we can easily re-render in A360 rendering. First, log in to your A360 rendering account. You can do so from any web browser by going to the link provided at the bottom of the screen, or use the quick access login and A360 gallery button in 3ds Max 2016. To re-render an image at a higher resolution, browse to the desired scene and have a look at the images. This project here was rendered for free in the cloud using standard size image. The standard size image is great to look at the results and assess if the images suit your needs. However, it might not be high enough quality to print or use in a presentation. To re-render the image at a higher resolution, simply mouse over the image thumbnail, click on the down arrow and choose the option to re-render using new settings. You will be presented with the A360 render setting menu. Here, you can up the render quality to a final and increase the image size as well as the aspect ratio. Notice that the required cloud credits will be adjusted accordingly. Depending on the image size and quality, the estimated wait time might be longer, especially if you have an education license. The other interesting option you might want to consider is to add an environment dome to your render. Not only the environment dome will add an image as a background to support your render, it will also impact the light quality and reflection of your render. There are five different environments available in A360. Field, Crossroad, Boardwalk, Riverbank, and Seaport. As you can see in these images, each environment impacts the quality of light and reflection of the material. To re-render the image with one of the A360 environment, Simply mouse over the image thumbnail, click on the down arrow, and choose the re-render using new setting option. In the render settings, click on the down arrow next to the environment option and choose the desired environment dome. Re-rendering with a different environment is free if performed on a standard size image. So I suggest you run some tests on standard size image first to see the impact of the different environment in your scene. You also have the option to adjust the exposure value and levels of your image. To adjust the exposure value of your images, mouse over the image thumbnail, click on a down arrow, and choose the Adjust Exposure option. Here, your artistic eye can create variations of your image and impact the overall feel of the image. For example, by adjusting the white point value, you can create a cooler or warmer tone image. In some cases, the image will look washed out or dark when rendered in A360. To fix this, simply adjust the exposure value. Any of the adjustments to your image using the Adjust Exposure option does not cost any credits. As an example for this project, I have added a field environment dome and adjusted the white point value, saturation, and mid-tone. By doing so, I have added a yellowy tone to my image and give it a warmer feel. Re-rendering your image in the cloud allows you to fine-tune and enhance the look of your images without having to re-upload the scene. So have a look and explore your options.